Today I'm going to be showing you guys some really quick back to school like running late type hairstyles. I got a request for this on Twitter. So this video is just going to be a few hairstyles that don't take much time at all to complete and that hopefully can get you out the door and on your way to school in a really short amount of time. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So my hair is actually already straight from earlier today. But obviously if you're just waking up it is perfectly fine to just use your natural hair for this. So the first few I'm going to show you are kind of just um, variations of the same thing and they work best if you have um, a side part like I do. But what I like to do when I have my hair just kind of air dried or like I showered the night before and I woke up and it's like really messy, I just like to do something with this front part that makes it kind of look a little bit put together. So just a few things you can do. So what you can do is just take the front part and then take it back to about here and then take a bobby pin and you can do the same thing to the other side to create kind of like a half up half down look. Okay so now as you can see I have this really kind of like chic but simple half up half down look that took essentially no time at all to do. So even if your hair is like wavy or anything like that, this will just kind of like reel it in a little bit, I guess. And I think that this is super cute for school. Okay, so next, like I said, these are all kind of variations of the same thing, but you can always just do um, a braid back. Just braided it to about here. And the way I did this, I actually took the braid back a little bit farther and pinned it underneath some other sections. So then you can just put that on top, it makes it look um, even more neat and put together. And then another option that is pretty much the same thing, um, but I think I like a little bit better, is just doing a braid back but making it kind of like a half French braid, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm separating it just into three sections, and then I'm going over with the top section, and then over with the bottom section. And then I'm taking the top section out and just joining a little bit of hair from the top in. But I'm not going to be doing that on the bottom. On the bottom I'm just going to switch it up as usual. And then for the top I'm adding some more in. And then the bottom it's just staying normal. And the top I'm adding some more in. So as you can see I've just continued that to um, a little bit past my ear. And then I'm just going to take my bobby pin and secure that. And I actually really recommend using two and just crossing them. Okay, so that is what this little kind of like half French braid looks like. And now I'm going to show you a way to turn all these into updos for the three that I just showed you. And you can do your ponytail at any height. I'm just going to do mine kind of in the middle. Now as you can see, um, you still have your braid and all of it's still showing and everything, but now it's just in a nice little ponytail and this is perfect for those days when you know you're just kind of having a bad hair day. So it's always super easy and really quick just to put it up in a ponytail and if you want to you can like pull a few pieces down in the front if you like to frame your face a little. So this is just what that looks like. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you that's kind of like a one side front part ordeal um, is just the waterfall braid which a lot of you probably have seen before or know how to do but I'm going to teach you how really quickly it's super easy so like with any braid you're just going to start out with three pieces and then you're going to go over and then under and then on the top part you're adding some in this is kind of like before and then instead of adding this piece in you're just going to drop it and pick up another piece so I'm adding that in and then with the top, you're always just going to add it in and like keep all of the hair together. So here I'm on the bottom again, and I'm dropping this piece. And then I'm picking up another one. And then I'm dropping the bottom one. And I'm adding it in on the top, and that's like the back of my head, so I'm going to stop there. But then you can just kind of loosen this up a little bit with your fingers. And then take your bobby pin and just secure that at the back. And this is probably my favorite out of all of them. I just think it looks the coolest. I don't know. Okay, so something else I really like to do when I do a waterfall braid is just kind of take my hair around to the other side 
and do a braid down like this. And I recently cut like six inches off my hair, so we're gonna see if it still works well. So I'm just separating my hair into three pieces, and then I'm just gonna do a typical braid. Okay, so this definitely looked about five million times better when I had long hair because now all my short layers and stuff are falling out. But if you guys have long hair, then I promise it's gonna look really cute and I don't know, just envision, you know, waterfall braid comes around here and then like really cute braid. And now I'm gonna do a really high ponytail and show you guys what this looks like. So if you're running late, one of the easiest solutions is probably just to do a all over high ponytail. So once you brush kind of like all the way around your head and you have all your hair up here at the top, I'm just going to grab it. It had ponytail like so. And then you can just kind of pull the ponytail back a little. And that's going to really allow it to loosen up a lot. And so it's not going to look so like all this is cemented back against your head. And then a secret to if you're wanting a little bit more volume in your ponytail is just take a bobby pin and then split the hair in your ponytail kind of in half. Like take the top half and the bottom half right in the middle right here. Just take a bobby pin and stick it in there like so. And then just flip the hair back over it. And then that adds a little bit more volume to your ponytail. And personally, I think this looks the cutest if you have like second day like curls or waves or something like that. And then also from this kind of position, if you have a sock bun or if you got it like H&M or somewhere, one of those um, little like, it's basically like a scrunchie, but it's, I don't know how to describe what it's made out of. It kind of does the same thing as a sock bun and just kind of shapes it for you. Then that would be so cute right here. Or you could always just go with the um, typical messy bun, but um, you can actually do it from right here. So I'm just kind of, I don't even know, making like a really messy formation with my hair. So then what I'm going to do is start taking bobby pins and just kind of sticking them in. I'm just sticking these in with, if you can see, parts like this that are down here. So I'm just going to kind of find a place for that to go and then stick the bobby pin through that. Okay, so I used about seven bobby pins and it's staying in place pretty well. It just looks like this. And if you want, you can brush down some little pieces by your face. And that is just what this looks like. Okay, so that's about it. I think I'm going to end on that note. I have some more ideas, but um, I feel like this video is already going to be super long. And these are kind of the easier ones, I feel like. And the ones that I have in my mind that I didn't show you are kind of a little bit more complex so if you guys want to see more that are maybe a little bit more time consuming um, comment below and I'll definitely consider doing another one of these and also let me know if this is helpful and if you guys decide to try any of these out please tweet me a picture on Twitter my name is TFG Morgan or you can tag me on Instagram my username there is Morgan125 and I'll have those links below and I hope you guys really enjoyed this so please thumbs up if it was helpful and that's about it I will see you guys in my next video